Broadcasting from Loyola University's Ridley Athletic Complex, this is the 2019 PNC Lacrosse Invitational, brought to you by PNC Bank. Visit pnc.com to learn more. Under Armour All-American. Don't miss your chance to register for the Under Armour All-American Underclass tryouts. Go to underarmorlacrosse.com to learn more. Thunder Bay, lacrosse apparel you can be proud of. Visit thunderbayapparel.com. And Sono Bello. It's your life. Live it beautifully. It's not often the two top 20 teams in the nation face off in mid-March, but over the years, the PNC Invitational has become a proving ground for top teams and the top talent. The Bullis Bulldogs are ranked number eight in the nation, and they've emerged as more than just a contender in the D.C. lacrosse scene. The Gilman Greyhounds are ranked number 16 in the nation and have some things to prove locally and regain respect nationally. It's game two of the PNC Invitational Bullets vs. Gilman next. Thanks for joining us here inside the Loyola's Ridley Athletic Complex. I'm Booker Corey, joined by former All-American midfielder Mark Dixon. Dixie, how fortunate are we to have this great matchup? It's incredible and very fortuitous to have these two teams facing off here tonight at Loyola as part of the PNC Invitational. When you look at Gilman, they're a team looking to reestablish itself in the MIAA in their coaches, Brooks Matthews, last year at the helm on Roland Avenue. Meanwhile, Bullis is the class of the IAC down in that D.C. area. They've won that conference the last couple of years. So you got a team that's chomping at the bit, full of talent, looking to make their way versus a team that has really uh, forged a standard of excellence. And for our viewers, who are some stars to watch tonight? For Gilman, you're going to want to pay attention to Sam King. He's an attackman, very quick, incredible athleticism, creative, strong. He can do a little bit of everything. He'll take his talents to Denver in a couple of years. He's only a junior for the Gilman Greyhounds. And then on the other side are the Bullis Bulldogs. You've got Robert Shane. He's a terrific finisher, another attackman, scores goals in the bunches, and he is a handful to defend. And the Gilman defense is going to really have to key on Robert Shane of Bullis. Bullis takes care of the opening faceoff here in game two of the doubleheader of the PNC Invitational. Bullis in their yellows and Gilman in their road blues as the goaltender Frassian. It's French, Dixie. The, even coach Jeff Berlestri, when we spoke with him the other day, wasn't sure of the pr pr uh, pronunciation. He thinks it's Frakion. It's Frassion. It, but yeah, it but could be the, Fragile, the, something of that nature the from... The news is they call him Jack Frack. It's, it's Italian. Yeah, it's Fragile. <laughs> it's a very special prize. Yeah. It's an award. <laughs> Pull us on offense now. And you, you alluded to them being a, a player in the IAC down in D.C., Gilman looking to make something happen. Oh, what a nice backside shot. And Noah Klein, starting goaltender for Gilman, gets the backup. He is the hustler on that defense. They have a tremendous defensive unit at Gilman this year. Gilman is long, and they're tall. And when you look at the guys headlined by Xander Martin, he'll head to Yale. Guys like Jack Witherspoon, Jack Stusen, uh, they, they are trees. They are so big. And on that last occasion, Bullis was able to get a feed into the crease, a little backhanded shot that was run out by Noah Klein. But Noah Klein is one of the best goaltenders in the MIAA, uh, maybe in the country, and, and he's going to be somebody that they got to be good against shooting the ball. Gilman on offense now. Logan Paff, and the pass picked off. Nice play by defenseman T.C. White. Guy who bounces between long stick midi and close defense. And now Hall in the mail, Bryson Shaw, senior midfielder for Bullis, as the Bulldogs back on the offensive end. Matt Kelly settles for the Bulldogs. We talk about length. T.C. White just reached out, snared that pass, and gets the ball from defense to offense. Bryson Shaw, he's not going to come off the field a whole lot for Bullis. He does a little bit of everything for them and from the midfield. He is a lacrosse player who was originally committed to Maryland back when the recruiting rules were different, and he is now committed to Ohio State football. 
So that, that's a guy that will be going to Columbus, Ohio to play college football. Not a bad football organization. Outside shot. Klein wrestles and rebound comes free shot. Never reaches the cage, but Bullis resets that 80-second shot clock. MIAA, IAC, they play the 80s. They play the college rules. We have the shot clock. It's a great advantage for everybody, including the viewers. I, I think it's great, and and I wish that the Federation, the, the public schools, would fall in line. These are kids. Oh, wow. Goal. Nice drive to the cage by Bullis' number six, Maddie Kelly. First overstep of the night. I didn't think Kelly was going to have an alley to the goal, but he does. He's going down the right side of the cage to the left of right-handed goaltender Noah Klein. He's just going to slip underneath the defense right there. Nice little shot to the far post, and Bullis draws first blood here at the PNC Invitational. And Dixie, you were a midfielder. How hard is it for him to drive down that right side and switch back left and shoot? It's, it's not as hard as you would think it is if there's no slide. Uh, if there's a slide, it becomes incredibly challenging. You probably got to bang it back side. But I think Gilman, much like I did, I thought they, they felt like they had good defense and, and the, the Dodger at a good angle. But credit Kelly for getting that stick in his left hand, opening up his angle, more space to shoot at, and putting it far post. But back to the rules, I, j I just wish high school lacrosse would be uniform because if these guys want to go to the next level, they're going to be playing NCAA rules, whether it's Division One, Two, Three, Junior College, whatever the case may be. I think high school athletes are at a tremendous disservice when they have to play the Federation rules. Nick Tusing comes away with the faceoff win here. Xander Martin. Gets it across the field, and the Greyhounds look to clear it. Oh, and a full D-twagging. Helicopter just landed <laughs> in the middle of Ridley. One good D-twagging deserves another. Ball goes on the ground, procedural violation, and referee Karma D. John Domenico comes in and makes the call, and it's going to be Gilman possession. This is the third game of the week for each of these ball clubs. Bullis beat Loyola earlier this week, then they dropped a close one to McDonough. So now they have Gilman, and while the Greyhounds faced off against, I believe it was Georgetown Prep earlier yes. this week. And Hill Academy. And then they played the Hill Academy, beat Georgetown Prep, lost to the Hill Academy out of Canada, and now they are here against Gilman. Did he step out of bounds? He completely <laughs> and totally did, and now the referee is going to re he's going to say he <laughs> stepped out of bounds, which he did. Better late than never. <laughs> Sam King, I tell you. But I was just I was just wondering if my eyes were playing tricks on me. It looked like he was and I had to think for a second because with this multi sport surface, meaning you have soccer, women's lacrosse, and men's lacrosse markings, you have white lines, yellow lines, and black lines here at Ridley Athletic Complex. And it's the white lines for lacrosse and King was clearly out of bounds, so the correct call by the official. Better late than wrong. Yeah. But late and right, right than early and wrong is what I always say. That's how I live my life. There you go. Take the bull by the horns. No other way. Bull is back on offense in their golds. Gilman in the blues. Shot over the cage. Bullis will maintain possession. I think what you're going to see here is Gilman has a larger roster than Bullis. Therefore, they're a little deeper. Bullis typically only runs one midfield, yep. especially when it comes to the offense. They don't go exceptionally deep. So Brown, Shaw, uh, number six, Kelly, who scored the first goal of the game. Th those guys are going to log a lot of minutes here tonight. Robert Shane's going to be getting up and down the field a little bit. Yeah. Pass inside goes awry. And here is Shane. You highlighted him in the open, and he has done nice things with and without the ball. Shot, goal. Bryson Shaw. Are you feeling it, Evil? There we see Bullis celebrating their first goal of the game. We mentioned Shane. Second goal of the game, excuse me. I was told there would be no math this evening. But Shane just looks over top the defense and is able to find Shaw, who hammers it home for about 10 yards. 
Shane will take his talents to the University of Pennsylvania and play for Coach Mike Murphy next season. And that is a good looking feed from a guy who drew the quick double, great recognition, good positioning and spacing by, Br by Bryson Shaw and he gets Bullis up by a couple. Great work by Bullis early in the PNC Invitational. If your family is anything like this, you need quality floors from Empire Today. Like durable carpet with built-in stain and pet protection. Tough wood laminate with a scratch-resistant finish. Or waterproof vinyl plank floors. Even bath time is no match. And when life happens, Empire backs every floor with great warranties. Quality floors you can count on. That's Empire Today. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE Today. How do you feel when you look in the mirror? I felt heavy and I looked heavy. It's hard sometimes to believe that's me. Do you wish you could have slimmer hips, thighs, and a flat stomach? Now you can. America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, Sonobello, has made it easier and more affordable than ever to get the body you've always wanted. Using advanced microlaser technology, our board-certified plastic surgeons remove hard-to-lose fat in as little as one day. I look in mirrors now and I'm like, dang, that girl looks good. For your free no-obligation consultation, call 888-475-4042 and get $250 towards looking your very best. The best investment you can make is in yourself. A hundred percent. I wish I would have done it sooner. Call now and get $250 off. Payment plans are available. Don't wait one more day. For a free consultation, call 888-475-4042 now. As a parent, it is very, very important to make sure that your children have the best set of teeth. My kids feel very much at ease with them. They're comfortable because they also show that warmth that is needed for kids, parents. We love coming here and we recommend it to everybody. Call Adventure Dental Vision and Orthodontics today to get high quality, compassionate care for your kids that's fast and easy for you. Select the best high school underclass lacrosse teams in the country. Can you make the cut? The Under Armour All-American Underclass tryouts have become the premier lacrosse exposure showcase in the entire sport. Exhibit your skills to top D1, 2, and 3 coaches and compete against the top talent in your region. Push yourself. Shape your future. Rep your region. Visit underarmorlacrosse.com now and register. 2-0, and we are facing off. Facing off for Bullis, number 24, Brian Wilmot. And for Gillen, number 44, Nick Tusing. Tusing's got the better of him a couple times, but it has been incumbent upon Gilman to find a way to get convert face-off wins to goals. Haven't taken a shot on Cage yet. Gilman hasn't. They turned it over twice on their first two possessions of the game. Let's see what they can muster up on this one. This is this is their playmaker. This is the guy that makes them go. Sam King had seven points against Georgetown Prep. Three goals, four assists. He scored another hat trick against the Hill Academy this past Thursday. Sammy King now behind the cage, guarded by T.C. White. Here's King driving lefty. Inside, feet shot. Oh, yes, that's how you do it. William Godin. Or was that Andy Andrews? Was that number one? I think it was number one. Andrews, okay. Andy Andrews, and there's the versatility of Sam King. We mentioned three goals, four assists against Georgetown Prep. So he's an incredibly balanced player that can beat you. But look at him roll back, and the defender slides. And it didn't even fully slide. You, you yeah. got You got to go or you got to stay. You can't hesitate. Because Sam King is going to eat you alive. And that time he sees the hesitation, flicks it to Andrews, who redirects it into the net past Frack. 
and Gilman is on the board. My apologies to the Andrews family. It looked to me like it was number four, Wayne Godin, quite obviously. As Xander Martin gets ahead, we have a flag down and a Gilman player down who doesn't look good. It's an unfortunate turn of events as James Schloeder. It looks like it's going to be an it's illegal body check because it was it was a hit in the head. Actually, it's a... Oh, wait a minute. We got two fouls. Oh, no. It's one foul. A push. I don't know if we have a replay of that or not, but it, it looked like an illegal body check because he took... It took Schloeder right off his feet. Here we go. Schloeder comes up with the ground ball. That, that looked like uh, contact up into the head and neck area. But, it was, but the interesting thing is it looked like Schloeder was favoring his leg when he yes. got up. So regardless, man up opportunity now for the Gilman Greyhounds. A little roll off on the crease. Offensive, offensive coach Owen Daly doing a nice job with Brooks Matthews. You talked about, hey, oh, there's a shot and goal. There's Godin. I was one goal early. Yep. It was a harbinger. <laughs> A precursor, if it were. Good offense by Gilman, taking advantage of a 30-second man advantage. A lot of times when you have a 30-second man-up situation, it's on the first time, meaning the first time the ball gets around or the first time the ball hits a trigger point. And you're just going to see a little step in, nothing fancy, and Godin's going to just step down with a beautiful overhand high-low offering to the far post. Textbook shot, and we're tied up. Low it away, and we are not at a deuces. Frecian had a tough time getting to that one. That's just a low, hard bouncer. And Gilman with a procedural win on the faceoff. And Isaac Lee, excuse me, Wallace Halpert. No relation to Jim Halpert. Luke Unger. Settles for the Greyhounds, and now it's Tortolani. Tortolani, just a junior. They get it behind to King, and Gilman gets everybody a touch as we've reached the 420 mark here, the first quarter. Pierce Washburn for the Greyhounds, number 19 in that top corner. Keep an eye for him. And this is the second midfield unit for the Greyhounds, utilizing their depth and their second midfield in this first quarter. Nice ground ball pickup by Ethan Till. Just a sophomore, and Bullis comes down. Gilman shuts down the transition immediately. They substituted unbelievably smoothly. Good hustle. One thing you notice when you look at these rosters, obviously Gilman has more players, probably about six to eight more players, but they are all juniors and seniors on the Gilman Greyhound roster. There are no freshmen and sophomores. There's a handful of freshmen and sophomores on the Bullis Bulldogs. And then if you look at the MIAA, you have some underclassmen on the rosters of Loyola, Boys Latin, uh, Calvert Hall, St. Paul's. St. Yeah. Paul's, Gilman, all upperclassmen, juniors and seniors are, are, the, are, are on this roster. So it's a very experienced unit and, and a group that a lot of people are expecting some big things out of in the MIAA season. A group that people say has something to prove too because they haven't been playoff participants in a couple years. Yep. Bullish shot, save, Klein. Goes downstairs to get that one. Ball comes free. And now we're going to get a crease violation. It's going to be Gilman possession. I think with Gilman on that restart, on a defensive restart, you don't have to take the ball outside the box. So the Greyhounds have to be whistle ready, meaning pick the ball up, establish position, and boom, once the referee recognizes that, he's going to let you play. By carrying that ball out of the box, they allow Bullis to get back into their ride and even get some personnel onto the field. So you got to be rules rules aware, whistle ready at every turn with these uh, with these game situations. Nice play by Bullis's number three, Tyler Keel. Again, we talked about that depth, excellent depth on the Bullis defense. Their offense, they tend to play limited numbers. Yeah. Conversely, Gilman plays massive numbers. So we'll see uh, the one constant, of course, Sam King, an absolute star down at the offensive end and has proven it so far this year. He's, he's terrific. He really is. He's a, he's a player 
who over the last couple of summers has drawn some intrigue and he was a guy that wasn't snatched up immediately in this September 1st situation in terms of being committed. He was not committed prior to the rules changing for recruiting. And I think a couple of schools were sniffing around, but then Bill Tierney and, uh, yep. and Matt Brown, who know a little bit about coaching offense, uh, snatched him up and he'll, he'll head out west once he, and when it's all said and done, his playing career at Gilman. And I believe we got an offsides yep. violation against Gilman Bullis had possession. And so the Bulldogs will be man up for up to 30 seconds. Get a good look at that Gilman man down. Defense looks like. Their short stick up on that corner. That's an interesting look, Dixie. Bullis working it around, replacing some men. Look for that inside feed now. Crossfield pass knocked down and taken back away. And now the ball pinballs in the neutral zone. What a handle. That is a sweet, almost sweet handle by Schloeder. Yeah. Good to see him back in the game. He was the Gilman player that was shaken up a few minutes ago. Halpert comes up with it now. It's Gilman possession. They will kill off the man down. This is game two of the PNC Invitational. A yearly rite of spring that just brings fantastic lacrosse talent to Loyola's Ridley Athletic Complex. Booker Corgan, Mark Dixon bringing you. And there's a high school lacrosse play. Miscommunication. Yeah. yeah, just miscommunication coming out of the box. And that is going to happen in high school lacrosse. And again, the pull is not whistle ready right there. Well, not, not true. And what, what I mean by that, so basically as, a, as referees, Okay, you don't want to give that super quick restart when it's right in front of the substitution box because you're afraid of a player getting jumped. Yep. And especially now with the substitution box going back, shortened on each side by five yards, you're extra careful with your restart. And, and offensive players okay. sometimes don't like it, but they're also not going to like it if they pick it up, you blow it in, and somebody's subbing out, and, yeah. and they clean their clock. Boom. Yeah, so that's actually uh, the Bryson Shaw from Bullis was ready but the official was waiting a second to make sure he didn't get violated. And as I said, that Bullis turns and throws the ball out. Yeah, of exactly. So. You saw Shaw, though, doing his best uh, Dwayne Haskins senior, Jr. Uh, impersonation, telling his far wing to go deep. Nice ground ball. Attempt by Andrews. He had it for a second, and now we get pushing and shoving. Ground ball pick up. And it's King who will possess credit. William Godine with the ground ball shot. Oh, wow. Jack Frack. You're not hardcore unless you live hardcore. Shot that time, or I don't know if that was a sky whammy or a stick fake by Logan Paff, but it looked like he had shot it, but he still had the ball on his stick. And then we're going to get a push here. King going straight at the cage. And this is, looks like King is up. We'll see if Jack Frack is up as well. That's what people are worried about. One of the aspects that they're worried about this year with the dive is the safety of the diver, but in particular, the safety of the goaltenders. But I think we're going to have a push call against Bullis. Nice play by King, just attacking the cage as we see Frasion, goaltender for Bullis. Number 50, standing tall in there. Just a sophomore. And King will. Probably going to hold it. I think he's going to hold it. There's only six and a half seconds left to go here in the quarter. So if he holds it, Gilman will not have to face off. They'll enjoy possession to begin the second quarter of this game. Quarter one is in the books, and we are not in deuces. This is the 2019 PNC Lacrosse Invitation. Tired of the winter blues? Need a break from your daily grind? Ready to press pause and make time for you? Escape to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and let the calming surf, soft sand, and warm sun do the work. With amazing deals all along the coast, it's the perfect time for a seaside getaway. So make time for you. Visit Myrtle Beach. 
where happiness comes in waves. All commercial vehicles carry big insurance policies. So whether you're hurt by a dump truck or by a garbage truck or any kind of commercial truck, you could end up with devastating injuries and need experienced lawyers. At Science & Kirk, we know how to handle these big corporations. We stand up for you. Call us at Science & Kirk. We win for our clients. Call 1-800-LAWYERS or visit youhavealawyer.com. If you have a phone, you have a lawyer. Call 1-800-LAWYERS. It's the Sign and Sleep event at Mattress Firm. Take home a new bed at 0% APR for six years with $0 down and $0 due at signing. And what could be better than taking home a new bed for no money down? How about getting huge savings or a free adjustable base with a qualifying mattress? Up to a $699 value. Yours this Friday through Sunday only, absolutely free. But these deals won't last long, so don't miss out. Your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. You don't have to do this. I'm doing this for us. I know what my brother's capable of. We have to find him. The world can't live under a red sun. The entire human race. They're going to thank me. Supergirl. Special time, Sunday at 10 on The CW Baltimore. We're bringing the luck of the Irish to you. Weeknights with Mike and Molly at 6.30 and Modern Family at 7 and 7.30. Right here on The CW Baltimore. Gilman will start the second quarter of the PNC Invitational on the man up. They are one for one already with the man advantage. Booker Corgan, Mark Dixon bringing the call from Loyola's Ridley Athletic Complex on a beautiful night here in Baltimore. Crisp. And a nice save. And now we're going to get an illegal body check Ball from up top, up, oh, yep. Yeah, it's gonna be a late hit. Actually, you got it right, illegal body check. I was gonna say a late hit just because a player was a good three steps after the guy shot. Hits him from behind. That's why you have three referees. Trail referee was able to pick that one up. And Gilman will enjoy another man advantage. That's tough. Bullis was just about to kill off that first foul. There you see that player coming in. Oh, what a save by Frasion. And that is a great hustle play by number three, Tyler Keel, to get possession after the shot. Here's a replay of it. Nice handle on the inside. That's magic. Really nice handle. Good shot. Look at Frackion get that left leg out. Sends it into the Baltimore sky off his left ankle. And now we're going to flag on the far side as Gilman will be guilty of a push. But credit Tyler Keel with turning and burning. Just a sophomore defenseman with the wherewithal to run to the end line and get possession. That was a really heady play. Yep. Smart play. And, and when you're man down, they killed the 30 seconds. When your goaltender can make a great save like that, and you can win the ball out of bounds. That is just getting extra possessions for your team, but also alleviating the fact that it's a man up. Bullis on the man advantage. They're playing 5 on 5 right now is the end of the Foul on Bullis runs out. Nice movement of the ball and a nice finish on the inside. That is tight, tight like a tiger. 66 on the finish. Gus Weiner, Weiner, sorry, like Y River. EMO, but not EMO. It's five on five, and Gilman elects to chase, and they can't catch up to the backside. Weiner steps in, takes the feed, slips it past Noah Klein. Excellent ball movement and good recognition by the Bulldogs. And we are still, we're gonna be all even with that goal. The goal is to find 
Tonight's Supergirl broadcast is being delayed in order to bring you this special coverage of the PNC Lacrosse Invitational. You can catch Charmed at its normal time, 9 p.m., followed by Supergirl right after tonight's games here on the CW Baltimore. Face-off win. Tusing is doing a unbelievable job at the face-off dot. He's been dominant. He was four out of five in the first quarter. He's won the first face-off here in the second. So he's five out of six. But that's the shot clock for you. This is a situation where, of course, you still want to have a great face-off man. But the shot clock mitigates that dominant face-off guy. You, you point to Towson and Cornell yep. last weekend. Towson won 26 out of the 32 face-offs taken and still lost by six or seven goals. So if you can play defense, you can get a goaltender who yep. can make saves. It can mitigate that outstanding face-off advantage. That is great lacrosse offense. And we are tied at three. Second goal of the game for Andy Andrews. Andrews is great off ball. And this is basically just a little give and go between Andrews and number 13 in blue, Billy Spillman. Watch him give the ball to Spillman. He draws a double, spins back. Andrews does a great job of something that's very elementary in lacrosse. When the defender turns his head, you see the back of that helmet, you cut to the cage. Spillman does a great job recognizing. Andrews catches it, slips it past Frack, and we're tied once again. Great feed by Billy Spillman. His father, John Spillman, played lacrosse at Denison University in 1991 graduate. You know how I know that? How? I coached there Look in 1991. Wow. <laughs> Long time ago, my friend. Long time ago. Bullis wins the faceoff on a procedural violation. And Matt Kelly will set things. Haven't heard a lot from Jonathan Bender today. I'm looking down to see if number seven is, in fact, out there. Haven't seen him. I talked with Coach Balestri today. And even there he is. He's behind the cage at X. So Bender is looking to get the ball right about now, but doesn't get it from Kelly. Was requesting it. And he will inbound it now. Bender's a hybrid. He can spend some time at attack. He'll also bump up up top to play some midfield. Nice roll. They're going to call that a moving pick. Or a crease. I, I didn't see if he... It looked to me like it might have been a moving pick. And the timing of the whistle. It is a point of emphasis that has kind of gotten lost with all the new rules. The shot clock, the dive. But illegal body checks, moving picks, language... In particular, yeah. that F word. Everyone is is uh, still, as referees, focused on those three areas. Nice job by Logan Paff to bring the ball all the way up. I had a chance to spend some time with Logan Paff in our after-school special. After school with the book. And Paff was certainly a fantastic participant. Outside shot. Going for the high bouncer. It was Godine. And here's Sam King. <laughs> Logan Paff now playing a little catch up top. And Godin lets it go. Frasion. See that play by gets Sam it. King? He was on his belly and gets his stick. Looked like he got it underneath the goalie webbing of Frakion and just flicks it out, and they get a fresh possession because the shot hit the goaltender. That's a shot clock reset, and when Gilman came up with possession, they get that fresh shot clock. A fresh full 80 yeah. as well, which is an interesting little bone of contention among the lacrosse aficionados of the world. After a shot that's blocked by the goalie, should get 60. Here's a replay of that. There's the shot. King is going to sprawl right there. And look at him get a stick. It's underneath the goaltender, and he flicks it. That is excellent. Because if he goes up top and makes contact with the goalie stick, that is interference. But you can go underneath when that ball is in the cage, oh, excuse me, in the crease and under the goalie stick. But hey, that was, and that was a fresh reset off of that violation, that technical violation, the, the push against Bullis. It is three to three here 
in the PNC Lacrosse Invitational at Loyola's Ridley Athletic Complex. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. What if you could lose fat in just a few hours? <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm just in shock. You can with Sono Bella. It seems no matter how much you work out or diet, there are parts of your body that just don't seem to change. I went to the gym, I worked out at home, I bought videos. No matter what I did, that bulge was still there. With its advanced micro laser technology, Sonobello gently removes that targeted fat and shapes your body for life-changing results. With over 100 board-certified plastic surgeons, Sonobello is the largest and most experienced group practice in the U.S. Sin ain't believing. I don't know what is. <laughs> After five years trying to get rid of that roll of fat, Sonobello did it in one day. Call for your free no-obligation consultation today and get $250 off your Sonobello body. Payment plans are available. Call 888-475-4042 or go to Sonobello.com. It'll be fullest possession here on the near side and they still have to clear it. But they did create the turnover, which gave them the opportunity with a fresh 80 seconds on the shot clock. Again, this is the third game this week for each of these teams. They do look a little tired, a little sloppy. Well, now, Dixie, these are high school kids who play club. They play two or three games a day in the summertime in the heat. And also, you and I just know about the event that went on at Stevenson where college teams played games on Friday and then on right. Saturday. So yeah. I don't feel too bad for these high school guys. No, I don't, it's okay. not that I feel bad, but okay. I think there's an explanation as to why the, the play has been a little sloppy, a little okay. tattered. Okay. And I mean, you know, obviously summer club tournaments, these guys yeah. are playing a tunnel across at a very short period of time. It doesn't necessarily lead to the best. Yeah. Spencer Hughes with the shot, save Noah Klein. And here's Xander Martin. His father, Alex, a key defender on that 1991 UNC championship team. Yeah, and you mentioned earlier, one of his teammates was, is Brooks, was Brooks Matthews, who, yep. uh, and, and we, we hit on it. You, you mentioned Gilman playing with some urgency this season, a team that hasn't been in the MIAA playoffs as much as they would like to have been. They definitely missed a year ago, but they have that added impetus to be successful this season because Brooks Matthews announced in November that he would be stepping down. This is his last year as head coach at Gilman. And he has been there for a while, and he's had some success. He really has. Hunks of uh, banners. Yeah. I think the last title that they won was 2011, if I'm not mistaken. And they hung some banners, but he's also moved some tremendous young men yeah. from high school onto life. I remember that 2011 team. I believe that was the team with players like Marcus Holman, that Jack, may have been, Jack Doyle, Harry that was Priebus. 09. Was that 09? And then John Tucker and Case. Sorry, not Casey Doyle. Oh, Ryan Tucker. Connor. Ryan Tucker. Ryan was Tucker. he in 11? Was that the 11 championship yeah. team? Great drive to the cage. Shot. Pinballs around. We got flags are flying. Nice take by Robert Shane. The older I get, the more the years yeah. just kind of blend yeah. together. It was Connor Doyle was a star on Connor that Doyle. 2011. Yeah. Well, wasn't that the Ryan Tucker that? team, too? Yeah. Wasn't that the, the didn't he yep. score like three or four goals in like two minutes in the semifinals they did. that year? They did. That was a special, special effort. Six to three with a minute and 26 seconds to go. They were losing. Wow. And they won the game in overtime. But there you see Shane illustrating the offensive player here in 2019. Go to the cage. You now don't have to stop at that crease line and take the brunt of that hit from behind. You can launch yourself a little bit, but you also are going to be able to draw some penalties. It's like going to the going to the basket unfettered in hoops. Not have to worry about restrictions you get and limitations. That, get that full head of steam. It is a great description of how we're going to start seeing more and more lacrosse happening. Great pickoff by Gilman defender Hank Bethel. Bethel taking it straight down at the cage. And they're going to give the back up to Bullis. That was a 50 50 well, call yeah. either way. It looked like Bethel yeah. was in the crease as well. I don't know yeah. if they got the crease violation, but well, that's, an, that's a great individual effort by Bethel. We talked about the length 
and the height of this Gilman defense. That is a, a great illustration as Bethel snares that skip pass right out of the sky and is able to charge the other way with it. The Gilman defenders, correct me if I'm wrong, Dixie, but they, they display that tacit knowledge, that lacrosse IQ uh, that you need in a great lacrosse player. They do. They're, they're an impressive team. I watched them play a little bit against Hill on Thursday in preparation for tonight. And uh, they play great as a unit. I think what also makes them better is the experienced goaltender, Noah Klein. Yes. Uh, he's a leader back there. He's a senior. And, and he is their general. He is their linchpin on the back line. Shane inside feed shot goal. Second goal of the night for Gus Weiner. He's lanky, but he plays well in tight spaces. He does. He's in a couple catch and shoots tonight. But Shane knows where to put the ball. Sizes up the defense. He's a right-hander, so he's going to come back to that strong hand. Then he's just going to feed it. Again, I think that was creating offense if you're, if you're Gilman. I don't think there was a reason to slide right there, especially with Shane behind the cage. His defender wasn't beat. He just rolled to his strong hand, and you could see the defense of Gilman, Jack Stusen, asking number seven, Jack Witherspoon. I, you know, I think I had him. I, I, don't, I don't think he needed to go on that. So I think Gilman created a little bit of offense right there for, for Bullis. And when you say creating offense, you mean the defense doing too much a yeah, in, in a way? Yeah, too much. Unnecessary slide, unnecessary double. And when you create offense, you basically make a mistake that you didn't have to make. And you create an opportunity for the offensive team. William Godine legs it for the Greyhounds. It's funny, you still see players touching it in the box. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a hard habit to break. Yeah, the only nuance with the shot clock is you have to have the ball over the midfield line by the time that shot clock hits 60 seconds. 4-3, Bullis in the lead. Gilman with possession when we get back. You know what you taught me, Granny? How to accessorize. Yeah. How to cheat at poker. Yeah, but also how to make real southern butterfly shrimp. You gotta use buttery crackers for the crust and fry them up fresh. Eight shrimp plus a side and a biscuit for just five bucks. It's tax season. Time to get to Price Buster's Predators tax refund sale and get the most for your money. Seven-piece living room, just $4.98. Nine-piece bedroom with free mattress, only $4.44. Dinette sets from $98. Mattresses from $49. Price Buster's has more of the furniture you want, more of the furniture you need in stock on sale. Plus, free check cashing and free delivery. Hey, it's your money. Make the most of it during the tax refund sale now at Price Buster's Furniture. I was living in a car. That was my home. And I needed a change. I had a degree, and I was working, but I wanted to take it to the next level. Then Stratford University helped me build my career and realign my life. My Stratford education saved me emotionally, physically, and financially. I'm Stephen Mack, and I chose a degree from Stratford University for my place to call home. What is your why? Let's get started. Three new Nissans, two powerful Titans, one award-winning lineup. Get to Nissan now for big savings on all of it because now's the best time to save big on our most innovative tech. Shop ChooseNissan.com and your local Nissan store. Hurry in today. Nice shot of the Gilman huddle. We talked about Brooks Matthews, a great mentor of young men. Booker Corgan, Mark Dixon here in the booth. Dixie, can you encapsulate his achievement at Gilman as a as a mentor? Uh, not, not really. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I've had the pleasure of getting to know Coach Matthews doing some broadcasts over the years. Nice guy. Yep. Uh, really, really good uh, educator. Really good teacher. A guy who does the right things, does it the right way, 
and has produced some pretty darn good lacrosse teams and lacrosse players. I know he also helps out with the Gilman soccer program as a coach. And then on the other side, you got Jeff Balestri down at Bullis, and, and he's built a national power in the shadows of schools like Landon like Georgetown Prep. Uh, now you have the mantle in the possession, really, of, of the dominant sure. IAC team, and that's not without controversy either. There was a situation this past summer where there was some factions going at it uh, with, with Coach Balestri, and, uh, you know, he's he's had to endure some situations, you know, and, and a byproduct of this game expanding and stakes becoming higher is... There's some outside influences that, that, that creep into the coaching. And it's, a, it's an interesting dynamic. And I think both Brooke Matthews and, and Jeff Balestri handle it uh, the right way. Godine gets it behind. This is King. King up the Logan. Path shot goes wide. Backed up by Gilman. As the clock trickles down to the three-minute mark here. First half of the PNC Lacrosse Invitational. PNC helping all the achievers down on this field. Bullis is in a zone. This is a defense that they used to be their bread and butter. They now will stretch out a little bit on most occasions. That's Ooh. a great shot. That is from deep. Logan Paff. Notches that one. A lot of times when a team slips into a zone, they'll do it when they come out of a timeout. And that's exactly what Bullis did after Gilman called that timeout. Credit the Greyhounds for being prepared. And it's almost like running extra man offense. You just want crisp ball movement. You want to get that defense looking, rotating. Path just takes a simple pass at the top of the box. A couple crow hops. And he's got a nice opportunity, a, a nice, hard, low worm burner past Frashion. And we're tied up again. That was number 13, Billy Spillman, with the ball movement there for Gilman. But Dixie, as you said, the, the ball movement is crucial. Quick ball movement will be, help beat his own if he can. And we're going to get a procedural violation. And it'll be Bullis' possession here late in the first half. Tightly contested. And it, just like that, Bullis goes ahead 5-4. That was a wicked shot by number seven in goal, Jonathan Bender. Not much angle. That had the equation of velocity and accuracy down to a T. Just a move of the ball up the wing, and look at that rocket. Just underhand, top shelf, a lot of heat. Bender gets his first of the game. Rhymes with B, starts with Bender. And we are back at the face-off logo. Sonabello doing a nice job bringing you all the face-offs. Nick Tusing for Gilman and Brian Wilmans. They've had a couple of these long drawn out clamps. Nice check by Tyler Keel. Gilman comes up with a loose ball and they will possess. I uh, checked that. Bullis is up by one. So what? We went 2 nothing, 2 2. Then we've just gone we were back three, and three. forth, back and forth, yeah. back and forth. Nice tight ball game here. What well, you would expect out of two very talented lacrosse teams. Luke Unger drives into the middle and the slide comes. Tyler Keel. Tyler Keel's having himself a day. So earlier we saw that, that hesitation on the defensive slide. There we saw a hesitation by an offensive Dodger. He saw that his counterpart was being shut off by a pole. That gave him an alley to go against a shorty, and he hesitated. Pole was able to get in there, get the check in. So much like on defense, you can't hesitate, especially when you're a Dodger. You cannot dance, and you cannot hesitate because you will get the ball taken away. Bull is up 5-4. They take timeout with 1.14 to go here in the first half of the PNC Lacrosse Invitational. 
People across America are transforming their bodies through Sanobello's My Best Body Celebration. And now you can save money and remove fat permanently from your stomach, thighs, and back with America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist. Making that decision to go to Sonobello was the best experience of my life. Sonobello is not a fad diet or boot camp workout. It's a simple, proven way to eliminate stubborn body fat in just one visit. Sonobello's board-certified surgeons use micro-laser technology to safely target and remove your diet-resistant fat cells permanently and with minimal downtime, giving you life-changing results. I feel sexy. I feel confident. It's the best I've ever felt. My self-confidence has hit the roof, and it is just an amazing feeling. Schedule your free, no-obligation consultation now. Plus, use promo code MYBESTBODY and get $250 savings. Call or go to sonobello.com right now. Nice shot of the Bullis huddle. Coach Balestri giving some instruction to his charges. Dixie, 114 to go here in the half. Little momentum on Bullis' side with the great shot by Bender. What do you anticipate them coming out with? I, I think they, they're, they're doing it with some long-range shooting. So I think you want to attack from behind the cage, try to draw a slide, and get that nice little underneath pass. But I think we've seen at least three of these bullish goals have been from the outside variety, some high heat. So I think you try to get that Gilman defense to stretch out a little bit and then dump it inside for a, a much higher percentage shot. And Gus Weiner, 66, has capitalized on a couple of those. Now we have some confusion with the restart. Well, I think Bullis wants the ball to start in the stick of Shane. And another player had already picked it up. So nice job by yeah. Shane to run over and say, I'll Model. take it. Don't blow the whistle. And here is Shane, guarded by Xander Martin. Nice defense by Martin to meet him at the spot. Ball goes up in the air, and Gilman comes away with it. Nice pass. And Witherspoon looks to hit the point man. King comes up momentarily with it, and that is off of Bullis. It's going to be Gilman possession here with 41 seconds in the half. And Bullis calls timeout. So we will step away as well. 41 seconds left in the half. Enjoy the all-new RAV4. What if we take it to the mountains? Hey, what if we check out that cave? <laughs> what, if? what if somebody else made a suggestion? Yep. Now, lease a RAV for only $219 a month. Or finance with Toyota and get $1,000 toward your down payment. Or lease a 4Runner for $399 a month. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Very happy that I chose to attend North American Trade School. North American Trade School has taught me everything I need to know to, to succeed. I feel confident in my ability now because of the things I've learned here. Enroll in North American Trade School's HRVAC program and be job ready in just months. I got the chance to work with professionals who have been working in the field for years. North American Trade Schools, where employers and graduates come together. Visit us at natradeschools.edu or call now. Monday at 9 on the CW Baltimore. We're bringing the luck of the Irish to you. Weeknights with Mike and Molly at 6.30 and Modern Family at 7 and 7.30. Right here on the CW Baltimore. Coach Matthews of the Gilman Greyhounds. Again, we talked about it's his last year 
But right now, he's just focused on tonight. Oh, he's, he's focused on one game at a time. I had a chance to speak with him the other day, and I asked him, you know, is it extra motivation for your kids? Is it extra motivation for you? And, and you know, he, he basically said, not really. You know, he's realizing that this is his last season, but he's living in the moment taking it day by day, and he just wants this to be the best season it could possibly be for this Gilman Greyhound team, which, again, as we've been talking about throughout this first half, has a ton of potential and is on a lot of people's radars to, to make some noise in the MIAA this season. Meanwhile, the other side, you know, you, you got the Bullis Bulldogs, and, you know, that's only a six-team league. So asking Coach Balestri this week about how an event like PNC paves the way, as well as playing against McDonough Loyola, He's like, look, if we can play the MIA and compete with them, we know we're going to be battle-tested and league-ready uh, for our conference. Clock below the 30-second mark now as Sam King gets it up. Shot by Paff. Knocked away by Fression. And Bullis looks to gather late in the half. And they may be content to just possess and take a one-goal lead into halftime. We got a great halftime plan for you. Make sure you don't miss it. As we see the team get ready to leave the field, it is halftime of game two of the PNC Lacrosse Invitational 2019 here in Loyola's Ridley Athletic Complex. My name is Leanne Donsvik, and I earned my MBA from University of Maryland University College. UMBC coursework was challenging. You have to be prepared to be resilient. Looking back, I appreciate those challenges because it has opened up a lot of doors for me. Moving up and getting the job that you want is a big deal. You know, that can be more attainable with an MBA degree from UMBC. Earn an MBA for about $25,000 in as little as 18 months. No GMAT required. Pajamas, uh-uh. This is my suit of armor for helping me feel safe. I'm a knight battling closet monsters before bed. Your donation of new pajamas in all sizes can help give foster children sweet dreams. I know what a difference it can make. I was a foster child too. Bring your new donation to your local mattress firm or give online. As a 45-year-old fitness instructor and triathlete, I knew as well as my doctor that the time had come for me to have my hip replaced. I went in for my surgery just before Thanksgiving and everything went great. I immediately started my recovery. In fact, five weeks later, I was teaching my class again at the local Y. Now I'm back to training for triathlons. For me, my hip replacement was exactly what I needed. It's made all the difference. My choice, the Centers for Advanced Orthopedics. Have you been hurt in a car accident? Motorcycle accident? Or a big truck accident? When you're hurt in any kind of accident, you have a lawyer. That's right. When you need a lawyer, you have a lawyer. No matter what kind of accident you've been in, call us at Science and Kirk or go to youhavealawyer.com. Anytime, anywhere, 24-7, days, nights, or weekends. When you've been hurt and you need a lawyer, you have a lawyer. 1-800-LAWYERS or youhavealawyer.com. Call 1-800-LAWYERS or visit youhavealawyer.com. If you have a phone, you have a lawyer. The 2019 PNC Lacrosse Invitational, brought to you by PNC Bank. Visit PNC.com to learn more. Under Armour All-American. Don't miss your chance to register for the Under Armour All-American Underclass Tryout. Go to UnderArmourLacrosse.com to learn more. Thunder Bay, lacrosse apparel you can be proud of. Visit ThunderBayApparel.com. And Soto Bello, it's your life. Live it beautifully. Hey, it's halftime here at Loyola's Ridley Athletic Complex. Booker Corgan alongside Lori Bristow, co-AD at the Gilman School. Lori, bring us up to speed with Gilman. And what's your message that you send out to all those student-athletes? That everyone at Gilman is a student-athlete. Yeah. And uh, athletics is the last class of the day at Gilman School. And every boy has to do athletics every day. So that's very important to us. And, and they get that message from so many great coaches, no matter what level they play, middle school, varsity, JV, fresh, soft. It, it's a family taking on the Gilman Athletic message from you all. 
Correct. So all our the majority of our coaches are teacher coaches. So we don't have a PE staff that uh, coaches. We have a few kid, a uh, few teachers that are PE teachers, but that's more lower school. And in the middle school and the upper school, it's predominantly the teacher coach model, which we really believe in because if the kids may gain a better understanding with the with the teacher once they're coached by them. So if the if they don't connect in the classroom, they connect out on the field, and then that carries back over. Certainly does. As a retired school teacher, I certainly can identify with that. Now, let's get into some lacrosse for our viewers. Certainly. How valuable are these great out-of-conference experiences where they get to play against a team like Bullis? Well, Bullis is... They won their league last year, right? So they're one, they're a great team, and uh, we're very uh, fortunate to be here at the, in the PNC Invitational to play against them. And you know, so far we're putting up some good numbers. So hopefully uh, we'll continue and do well. But these games are very important leading into the MIA conference. <laughs> the most competitive lacrosse conference Absolutely. in the country. You've had a great steward of the program in the form of Brooks Matthews. It's his last year. How do you reflect upon his accomplishments at Gilman? Well, Brooks has uh, won a couple MIA championships and actually named, you know, was had the number one team in the nation for one year, and, and he's done a wonderful job with the program and has set the bar pretty high for the next coach coming in. It'll be interesting to see who has the job of following me. Such a great mentor of young men. Absolutely. Lori, thanks so much for your time. Thank you. Good luck to Gilman here in the second half. We'll see how it pans out. We'll be back with more halftime here at the PNC Lacrosse Invitational on the CW Baltimore. How do you feel when you look in the mirror? I felt heavy and I looked heavy. It's hard sometimes to believe that's me. Do you wish you could have slimmer hips, thighs, and a flat stomach? Now you can. America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, Sonobello, has made it easier and more affordable than ever to get the body you've always wanted. Using advanced microlaser technology, our board-certified plastic surgeons remove hard-to-lose fat in as little as one day. I look in mirrors now and I'm like, dang, that girl looks good. For your free no-obligation consultation, call 888-475-4042 and get $250 towards looking your very best. The best investment you can make is in yourself. A hundred percent. I wish I would have done it sooner. Call now and get $250 off. Payment plans are available. Don't wait one more day. For a free consultation, call 888-475-4042 now. Cycling. Practice French. Cooking class? Art festival. Climbing. Getting a new Volkswagen can be easier than you think. Uh, nice. What will you do with the extra time? Hot yoga! Yeah! Yeah! No, like yoga, but hotter. Love it. With practically just your signature, you can get a 2019 Volkswagen Jetta for zero down, zero deposit, zero first month's payment, and zero due at signing. We are back at halftime here at the PNC Lacrosse Invitational inside the booth. Booker Corrigan alongside Mark Dixon. Dixie, you were a great player at Hopkins. You referee the game. You coach the game. You broadcast the game. It's a luxury for us. What did you like about what you saw in the first half from an official standpoint? Well, I, I mean, I like the fact that the, the officials were calling the game pretty tight early on, and they set the tone. There were a couple of late hits, a couple of illegal body checks, and the referees were right on top of it. And once you establish your identity and what you expect from the players, they, they fall in line, and I think both these teams have done just that. And I say that because as viewers, you're going to get to hear a lot of that expertise. Now, let's talk about Bullis. They're scoring goals from inside. They're scoring goals from outside. What does Gilman need to do to stop them? I, I just think that they need a little bit better goaltending. Noah Klein is an outstanding goaltender, but he only made two saves in that first half. They both came in the first quarter. On the other side, Frakion has, has made seven all came in the second quarter. So I think some better goaltending, but also just maybe uh, stop creating some offense. Uh, there, there are one or two goals there where Gilman created offense for Bullets, maybe tightening things up on that end of the field. Those early slides will get you, but just like the rug ties the room,